Hello and welcome back to Femboy 101. This video we're going to be talking about a topic which is incredibly crucial to presenting femininely. It can be very mystifying to most boys. Makeup. Makeup can be incredibly daunting to beginner femboys and cross-dressers because there's so much to learn, so many different types of products and techniques, and also because it's so firmly in the territory of girls that it can be difficult for boys to approach it. When I first learned to do makeup, I had a really hard time finding resources for total beginners who had absolutely zero knowledge about makeup. So I hope that this video can be that introduction from scratch that I was looking for back then. In this video, I'm going to go through the essential products, what every makeup kit should contain, and where and how to get them. I'm not going to cover any specifics on technique because one, I can't really show you what to do as a VTuber, and two, there are already tons of makeup tutorials on YouTube that will do a better job than me at explaining it. I'll link a few in the description that I think make good starting points. So the essentials of a makeup kit that you should have are as follows. Primer, foundation, concealer, eyeliner, eyeshadow, mascara or fake lashes, lipstick, blush, a set of brushes and sponges, and makeup remover. And some others that are not as essential but are good to have are contour or highlighter, setting spray or setting powder, and eyebrow makeup. If you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed, don't worry. I'll go through each of these and explain what they are and how to use them. Primer is a cream that is used to prime your face before applying makeup. You put this on your face before everything else to moisturize and help the makeup stay on your face longer. It also helps smooth out your skin tone and improve the look of your foundation. Foundation, as the name suggests, is the base that the rest of your makeup is applied on top of. It's basically a skin colored cream that you apply all over your face in order to make your skin tone even across your entire face and cover blemishes and flaws. When you use foundation, it's important to get one that matches your natural skin tone. The best way to do this is to get it matched by an employee at a makeup store like Sephora or Ulta. Of course, some people might find it difficult to go into a makeup store and ask for help. I'll talk a bit more about this later. Another thing to consider is the coverage of the foundation. This refers to how concentrated the pigment is and therefore how opaque the foundation will be and how much it will conceal. There are four levels of coverage, sheer, light, medium, and full. Medium coverage is probably the most versatile and the type you want to start out with. Concealer is similar to foundation. It is used on specific spots on your face in order to hide more noticeable blemishes, scars, and dark circles. When it comes to boys though, concealer serves one really important purpose, to hide your beard shadow. No matter how closely you shave your facial hair, there's going to be a bit of visible beard shadow that will get in the way of your feminine look. You can use concealer to hide your beard shadow, but there's also dedicated beard concealer products but they're harder to find. Concealer comes in a variety of colors. The color you use depends on what kind of blemish you want to hide. You should be using the complementary color to the thing you want to conceal. So for example, dark circles and beard shadow have a bluish black tone, so you want to use a red or orange concealer. Pimples have a red tone, so you want to use a green or blue concealer. Now we get into eye makeup, which is perhaps the most important for achieving a feminine look, but also the most time-consuming part that requires practice. First is eyeliner, which is typically black or brown and is used to define your eyes, change the shape of your eye, and draw attention to your eye. There are countless different styles of doing your eyeliner, and no shortage of different techniques. I can't go over them all, but I'll link to a couple different eyeliner tutorials in the description if you want to learn how to use it. Eyeliner and eye makeup in general is where you can express the most creativity in your makeup, but it can be tricky applying makeup right next to your eye, and it'll take a bit of practice. Eyeliner comes in a few different forms. Liquid, which is applied with a brush, pencil, which as the name suggests, works like a pencil, and gel, which is like a gel pen. Each of these have different properties and slightly different looks, but a pencil liner is probably easiest for a beginner to use. Eyeshadow comes in a huge variety of different colors and is used on your eyelids to make your eyes stand out and add a splash of color. Like eyeliner, there are so many different ways you can use eyeshadow and with so many colors, endless ways to express yourself. 
I would suggest getting a small palette of eyeshadow to start and working on a few standard looks. Once again, I'll link some tutorials in the description. Mascara is a dark ink used to make your eyelashes look thicker and longer. Long eyelashes are commonly associated with a feminine look, but actually, men tend to have longer eyelashes than women. Nevertheless, mascara is a key in creating a feminine look with your eye makeup. You want even longer lashes, or if your lashes are too short for mascara to be effective like me, false lashes might be the solution. They're basically fake long eyelashes that you attach right above your real lash. They're commonly attached using a temporary lash glue, but I would suggest using magnetic lashes. They attach using a special magnetic eyeliner and are much, much easier to put on. If you've struggled with putting on fake lashes before, I highly suggest checking out magnetic lashes. You probably already know what lipstick is. You use it to apply color to your lips. It comes in a huge variety of different colors, and it comes in two different formats. A solid tube form and a liquid form that's applied with a brush. Solid lipstick is easier to use, but liquid lipstick doesn't smudge and creates a very crisp and fine look. I think this is mostly up to personal preference, but I'd start with solid lipstick. Blush or rouge is a reddish powder that is used to add a blushing look to your face. Used suddenly, it can add the finishing touch to your makeup. It's a good idea to have a good set of makeup brushes. Makeup brushes come in a variety of different sizes and shapes for all sorts of different purposes. There are separate brushes for foundation, concealer, powder, etc. as well as several just for your eye makeup. A makeup sponge like a beauty blender might also be used. Make sure to clean your brushes and sponges with soap and water regularly. And of course, when you're done, you need something to take all that makeup off. Makeup remover comes in a variety of different formats, but any of them will work as long as it gets the makeup off your face. And remember to take your makeup off before going to sleep. Keeping it on for too long can lead to pimples and other skin problems. Now for the good to haves. Contour and highlighters are used to change the shape of your face by emphasizing and de-emphasizing different parts of it. Contour is a darker shade that is used to create a kind of fake shadow, while highlighter is a lighter shade that reflects light and brightens the areas it's applied to. It can be useful if you have a more masculine facial structure, but I don't use it much myself, and it can be difficult to get a good grasp of. Setting spray or powder is used after you put on all your makeup to make sure it stays on for longer. If you have oily skin, the powder can also help reduce excess moisture. Eyebrows are a somewhat underrated part of making a feminine face. Women have thinner, smaller eyebrows than men, so you might want to consider trimming or waxing your brows for a more feminine look, though it is more permanent than makeup, you can take off at any time. Eyebrow makeup can help touch up your eyebrows and create a fuller, more complete look, but I wouldn't consider it an absolute necessity. Now that we've talked about the basic makeup you need to get, where do you get it and how do you pick out what to buy? There are so many different brands and types of makeup out there and the price can vary wildly. When you're just starting out, I recommend getting cheaper makeup from the drugstore. That way you won't feel like you're wasting money when you make mistakes and you can feel free to practice more. Then, when you feel like you're more confident, go to a makeup store like Sephora or Ulta to buy some higher end products. If you feel too nervous or uncomfortable to buy makeup in person, I can totally understand. I felt the same way at first. But I soon realized that people working at drugstores don't really care, and in my experience, employees at makeup stores have actually been quite welcoming and friendly when I shop there, and I've never felt judged even when presenting mail. Of course, your mileage may vary depending on where you live. Always use your best judgment and stay safe. If shopping in person is not an option for you, you can buy makeup online through Amazon, Sephora, Ulta, etc., but you won't be able to see it or try it out before you buy it. As for what brands or types to buy, in my opinion, when you're just starting out, it doesn't really matter that much. Feel free to choose based on price if budget is an issue. Makeup can be a rather expensive hobby, while you're still learning. As for what brands or types to buy, in my opinion, when you're just starting out, it doesn't really matter that much. Feel free to choose based on price if budget is an issue. Makeup can be a rather expensive hobby. For foundation specifically though, it's important to match the shade to your skin tone. As I mentioned before, you can get this done by an expert at a makeup store. Sephora will give you samples if you ask. But if you don't feel comfortable doing so, there are tools online that can help, although it may not be as accurate. That's about it for this introduction to makeup. 
Makeup is an absolutely massive field with so much to learn, but I hope this served as a useful guide to any absolute beginners. Once again, I'm going to link to tutorial videos I found it helpful in the description so that you can take the next step and learn how to actually use the makeup you bought. If there's any demand for me to do actual makeup tutorial videos, I'll consider it. I'll just have to figure out the best way to do it. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comment sections below and be sure to subscribe and follow me on Twitter and Twitch. Thanks for watching.